Now, from 41 NBC Sports, it's time for Friday Night Football Scores and Highlights. You're in the end zone. Brought to you in part by Macon Bedroom and Mattress, MBHI Home Specialists, BMW of Macon, and Robbins Bed and Mattress. With Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to the end zone. I'm Bill Shanks from Middle Georgia's ESPN. Tonight, we're going all over Middle Georgia with plenty of games in Macon, Milledgeville, and Fort Valley. Peach County and Houston County will be our game of the week, and Tucker Sargent will have that for us a little bit later on. First, let's start in Macon with Westside and Howard. The Seminoles were licking their wounds after a tough three-point loss to Perry a week ago, while the Huskies continue to show they are much better this season, beating Central by 20 points last week. Let's head out to the Ed and Forest Sports Complex, the Seminoles and the Huskies. Here come the Seminoles on the field, and the Huskies got going early on in this game with a little offense as they were doing well. Play action here, Quentin Sewell. Back looking pass, left-hander, Aiden Stewart. He's got it wide open, touchdown. How about that, 7-0, Howard out on top. Now on the kickoff, Howard's going to go for a little onside. Try to get some momentum in this game, and they're going to get it. Justin Worthy recovers, but Howard would stall an offense and give it to Westside. Shotgun here, Victor Dixon Jr. Long pass, Jalen Barton complete into Howard territory. Nice play right there. Dixon again trying to get some things going for the Seminoles. Now to Landon Emery right in the middle. That's going to be complete, and he's going to get right inside the 20 or so. Now Dixon. Back, looking right, but he's going to throw to his left. Complete, Simran Farrar. And he's in there for the touchdown. They would miss the PAT. Howard would be up 7-6, and the Huskies would win this game. 28-21, a big win for Howard. They are now 3-1 in the year. Seminoles fall to 2-2. Two the FPD, the Vikings hosted Hancock Central tonight. Here we go, the Hancock Central quarterback, Tiger Jones. Handoff to number 21, Kernard Chapman. Nice run there near midfield. Jones now back looking complete, but nice defense by the Vikings. Jones didn't see the snap on this play right here. He recovers though, and he's going to run it up the gut to the 30, and a nice run inside the 25-yard line as they try to bring him down. Hancock Central knocking on the door. Jones, the quarterback sneak, and they're going to push him into the end zone. He's in there. Vikings would tie the game at 14. Vikings now on their own 40. Nice run here, Josh Reigns to about midfield for a nice 10 yard gain for FBD. The quarterback now, Coleman Cawley, is going to keep it for about a five yard run as they're into Hancock Central Territory. Cawley now on the option to Tate Skipper. Watch this, all the way down and they're going to have trouble pulling him out of bounds right around the 20 yard line. They would switch quarters into the fourth quarter now and they would uh, get a long field goal by FPD. That would be good to give the Vikings the lead, but Hancock Central would rally late and win this game 32 to 17. How about that? The Vikings fall to 0 3. Now to Stratford, the Eagles hosted Washington Wilkes tonight and the Eagles were getting ready on the sideline. Second quarter now, Washington Wilkes on the Eagles 18. Handoff coming, number four, Corey Denard, and he is going to score. That would make it 21-19, Stratford out on top of this game. Now Eagles, high snap, Christian Palmer scrambling. He's going to heave it down the field to Jamie O'Quinn, number three, to the 30 for a first down. Nice play there. Yep, first down, I told you. Palmer now to Dell Sykes, inside the 10, and how about a score? Touchdown. The AT made it 28-19, Stratford. Washington Wilkes now the quarterback on the keeper. Donovan Anthony, nice play there, and he's going to go all the way, 40, 35, 30. Can he go? Nope, he's going to get tackled inside the 20 to the 17. Nice play there by the Tigers. Then the handoff coming to Zach Jackson, number 25. Watch him avoid a tackle there. What a play, and he's going to score. Tigers would go in for six. They would go for two now. Anthony to Justin Myers back of the end zone for two points. That would make it 28-27 Stratford and that was the final. Eagles hold on. They're now one and two and they're at Fellowship Christian next week. Tandle was the home tonight against Lincoln County. Here we go. Here come the Trojans and they are ready to go. Trying to look at that number two victory of the season. Lincoln County on their own 39. Play action pass to number 17. Dwayne Wright is complete. And it's a 50-yard completion right there. Nice play. Red Devils down the Tentinel. 11. Handoff coming to number one, Colby Ferguson. 
And he's going to get all the way down to the two-yard line. Ferguson, big boy, and he's going to try it again for another run. And he's going to get inside the end zone now for a score. That will put Lincoln County up early in the first quarter by the score of 7-0. Now Tatman would go to work on their own 44-yard line. The handoff coming to Bryce Beasley. Right side, he's going to get a game there to near midfield. Now from the Lincoln County 47, Miles Morris to a wide open Jamal Marshall. How about that? Touchdown Trojan 7-7, but Lincoln County would win this ball game. 34-28 the final. Tattle is now 1-3, and, and they are off next week. Up next, another big game in Macon, and we go to Millersville for a pair of games. More of the end zone right after this. More highlights coming up on the end zone. Tonight's catered meal for the end zone crew provided by Zaxby's. Indescribably good chicken. Indescribably great support of our community.